The history of Jewish people and their roots in the land of Israel spans 35 centuries. Their history and presence in this land has been continuous and unbroken throughout the centuries. In the first century, when the Jewish civilization in Israel was already over 1,000 years old, Rome destroyed the Holy Temple in Jerusalem and conquered the Jewish nation. At this time, the Romans renamed the region Palestine and exiled a portion of the population. For the two millennia after the Roman conquest, no other state or unique groups developed in the region instead, different empires and people came, colonized, ruled and disappeared. Jews remained in Palestine during these changes. Throughout these 2000 years, Jews, regardless of their current country of residence, continue to view a return to their ancient homeland as essential part of their identify and a source of hope. Between 1517 and 1917, Palestine was part of the Ottoman Empire. The region, initially prospered under the Ottomans, but during the empire's decline, it was reduced into a sparsely populated, impoverished, barren area. Meanwhile, the Zionist movement was emerging in Europe in the late 19th century, generated by increasing anti-Semitism and violence against Jews in Europe as well as the rising nationalism throughout the continent. The Zionist, whose goal was the return of the Jewish people to a sovereign state in the land of Israel, fostered increased Jewish immigration to Palestine and sought international political recognition of the Jewish right to independence in Palestine. When the Ottoman Empire was defeated in World War I, its land were ceded to the victorious allies who carved the land into new nation, which included Iraq, Lebanon and Syria. Under the Treaty of Serbs 1920, the League of Nations gave control of Palestine to the British government. Britain's job was implement the Balfour Declaration, which had been signed five years earlier, stating Britain's desire to create a homeland in Palestine for the Jews. Even before this declaration, Jews had begun to purchase land and settle in the country. As they continued to do so, the Jewish population grew to some 600,000 on the eve of World War II. Of course, when the modern return of Jews to the land of Israel began, Arabs were living there. Toward the end of the 19th century and more so in the early 20th century, the national consciousness of these Arabs emerged as Palestinian nationalism and that nationalism aspired to independence. Thus, the Arab desire for independence clashed with Jewish desire for return. British control over this territory lasted from 1923 to 1948, during which time the authorities were challenged by the demands by Zionist for Jewish self-government, and a growing Arab nationalist movement rejecting this Jewish presence and nationalist aspirations. Growing Jewish-Arab violence and attacks on British personnel by some Jewish extremists led Britain to announce that it sought to end its mandate of the area. During this period, there was also the 1939 White Paper that stated that Palestine would be neither a Jewish state nor an Arab state, but an independent state to be established within 10 years. The White Paper also limited Jewish immigration to Palestine to 75,000 for the first five years subject to the country's ability to absorb them economically, and would later be contingent on Arab consent. Stringent restrictions were also placed on how much land Jews could acquire, despite efforts to rescind the white paper following the end of World War II, it remained on effect until the British departed Palestine in May 1948. Following Britain's February 1947 announcement of its intention to terminate its mandate government, the UN General Assembly appointed a special committee the United Nations Special Committee on Palestine UNSCOT to make recommendations on the land's future government. UNSCOT recommended the establishment of two separate states, Jewish and Arab to be joined by economic union, with the Jerusalem-Bethlehem region as an enclave under international administration. On November 29, 1947, the UN General Assembly voted on the partition plan, adopted by 33 votes to 13 with 10 abstention. The Jewish side accepted the UN plan for the establishment of two states. The Arab states rejected the plan and almost immediately formed volunteer armies that infiltrated into Palestine against the Jews. 
Israel's establishment as an independent sovereign state was officially declared in Tel Aviv on May 14, 1948 by Zionist leader David Ben-Gurion, the day British mandate over Palestine was officially terminated in accordance with UN Resolution 181. When the UN voted to partition the mandate on November 29, 1947, Palestinian Arabs with the help from Arab states launched attacks against Israel to seize the entire mandate. On May 14, 1948, Israel declared independence was immediately invaded by the armies of five Arab nations. Egypt, Syria, Transjordan, Lebanon and Iraq. The newly formed IDF Israeli Defense Force managed to prevail after 15 months of war. Israel was forced to defend itself when Syria, Egypt, Jordan and Iraq intensified their attacks and Egypt illegally blocked Israel's access to international waters and expelled UN peacekeeping forces. Four Arab countries mobilized more than 250,000 troops in preparation for a full-scale invasion. Israel preempted the invasion in a defensive war and managed to capture the West Bank from Jordan, Gaza and the Sinai Peninsula from Egypt and the Golan Heights from Syria. Since 1948, Israel population has grown tenfold. Israel was founded with a population of 806,000. Today there are 8.5 million Israelis about 75% of them Jews like other democratic, multi-ethnic countries. Israel struggles with various social and religious issues and economic problems. It is a country of immigrants that often came to the country dispossessed. On the political front, most Arab and Muslim states continue to deny the Jewish state's right to exist. Unfortunately, only two of the 22 Middle Eastern states have signed peace agreements with Israel. Egypt and Jordan. The ongoing Palestinian-Israel conflict is complex, with challenges related to borders, settlement, sovereignty and other contentious issues. Hope one day both sides achieve a peaceful coexistence.